this prayer will change your life and everything about you. When we pray, it often appears that our prayers are not answered or that the answer is delayed. Well, the truth is that there is always a how to everything, including prayers. Answerable prayer is teachable and learnable. And then there's how to pray for results. That was why the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ had to ask him to teach them how to pray because they were not getting results when they prayed. You can see that in Luke 11, verse 1. Now it came to pass, as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, that one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. When Jesus' disciples approached him, he didn't rebuke them or reprimand them because he saw their request as meritorious and wise. He instead approved of their request and taught them how to pray to get results. In Luke 11, verses 2 through 4, it reads, So he said to them, When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day by day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. According to the Lord's teaching, every effective and efficacious prayer begins with the recognition and appreciation of God, followed by His interest in our requests. Although the method outlined by the Lord above is from a broader and more general perspective of how result-oriented prayer should be said. But on a more specific note, effective prayer should be started with thanksgiving as an ideal entry protocol into God's presence. In Psalms 100, verse 4, the Bible makes this clearer by stating, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise, be thankful unto him, and bless his name. So giving thanks and expressing appreciation is the correct way to start a prayer that can yield results. Your long-awaited transformation and miracles will become a reality as I pray for you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to rejoice again and that tension and pressure will be over for you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Dear Father Lord, thank you for who you are and what you have made of us. Father Lord, may your name be honored and glorified to the highest. The earth and its fullness are the work of God and your creations. And all these you have made for your pleasure, as your word made me understand in Revelation, chapter 4, verse 11, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. Father, I thank You. Even if my entire body turned to mouth, it wouldn't be enough to thank You and appreciate You for who You are, Your works, Your generosity to us all, and Your many other creations. Therefore Lord, in summarily, I say, thank You Lord. Thank You, Father Lord, for the gift of your Son, through whom we have received the gift of salvation. The Bible says in John, chapter 3, verses 14 through 18. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. That whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. He who believes in Him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And in John, chapter 1, verse 12, your word says, Father Lord. But as many as received Him, to them gave ye power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. Father Lord, Thank you once more, Father, for this gracious, magnanimous, and priceless offer of your grace, mercy, and love towards us. An offer that neither money nor anything else can buy. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for offering to die for our redemption by laying down your life for us of your own volition, as the scripture says in John chapter 10, verse 18. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. Lord, thank you for atoning for our sins with your own blood and making peace between us and God through our faith in your finished work of salvation. 
Lord, we give you all the glory and thanks. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every listener who has understood and prayed along with me in these prayers today. Lord, may their lives never be the same again. Lord, show them your mercy and your love. Let them experience immediate transformation in every aspect of their lives. Let their soul, spirit, and bodies be empowered for extraordinary performance with the aid of your Holy Spirit. Let their careers, businesses, education, aspirations, and inspirations experience a new release of life and flourish again. Let long-term positive changes and transformations occur in their businesses and careers. In the name of Jesus Christ, let their health experience a fresh and new release of life and vitality. In the name of Jesus Christ, let help come for them from the north, south, east, and west, and above all from above, in all their vocations and avocations, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, by reason of their conversion, I decree and declare every contention of the devil over their lives, careers, businesses, and acquisitions a nullity. In the name of Jesus Christ, every contention of the devil over their health, wealth, businesses, and careers based on their ancestry, kindred, and language, I declare terminated and brought to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, for it is written in Revelation, chapter 5, verse 9. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll, and to open its seals, for you were slain, and have redeemed us to God by your blood. Out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. Therefore, Father Lord, I terminate every curse and cause of limitation in their lives for reasons of birth, kindred, ancestry, and language. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set them free from every siege curse or demonic orchestrated limitation. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Galatians 3, verses 13 to 14, the Lord says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. As a result of your finished work of redemption, Lord, I decree and proclaim liberty and freedom to every listener here and now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Freedom from sin, delay, fear, failure, and all other yokes and chains in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, I decree and release all the blessings that should have come to my listeners by virtue of their faith and acceptance of the Lord as their Lord and Savior. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the release of every blessing that has been withheld, stolen, or diverted from them. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. I command by fire and force the immediate release of all that belongs to everyone under my voice now, in the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says Lord, in Joel chapter 2 verses 25 through 26. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the cankerworm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that today marks the day of restoration for everyone under my voice, the restoration of wealth, glory, fortune, honor, and every good thing that has been withheld from them. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them breathe new life into their finances, careers, and businesses, as well as into everything else they touch. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, from now on, may they never lack what to eat and what to meet their needs and obligations with, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let them always abound in plenty and abundance of what makes their lives good, pleasurable, and worth living. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, may they all reign here on earth as priests and kings in great wealth, riches, and abundance of all good things every day of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the riches and honor that Christ has received and bequeathed to them become a physical reality in accordance with Revelation 5, chapter 12, which says, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. Father, 
make these truths a factual and practical reality for each of these listeners. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.